Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So I did move and I'm so excited about it. Um, I didn't finish like setting up and organizing as you guys could see behind me, nothing special going on. But um, <laughs> I did want to make a video just because I did get my Sephora play box, which is what this video is about. And just because I missed you guys like face to face situation going on. You know what I mean? So I will be doing a Q&A, which will follow up sometime next week, I hope, um, discussing everything and stuff like that. But for today's video, I'm going to be doing my Sephora play box for the month of December. So this is how the bag arrived. I think it's so cute. Are you kidding me? The black, it just makes it like so different. It says, I take the party with me. Totally. So in this bag retails for $10 a month. It's a Sephora subscription service and you do get it about every 20th of every single month. I will leave a link down below if I could find it. And that's pretty much it I would say. You also do get like a pamphlet just discusses pretty much everything you're receiving in the actual bag and different ways you can use it and stuff like that. So let's see what's in this month's bag. Like, you know when you just ruin this like thing? Anyways, uh, the first thing that I see in here is this Detox Dry Shampoo by Dry Bar. So this is how the little guy looks. It's just a small miniature, what is this? Dry shampoo. Anyways, I personally don't use a lot of dry shampoo. I know a ton of people do, so it's a good way to test out this brand. But I still think it's a good little product and a good size to see if it's good. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Um, it smells like something. What does it smell like? I don't know. It smells pretty good. Um, I really like it and I'm definitely going to use this and see how it works out with my hair. Even though my hair is not the type to get too, too oily, but you know, once in a while I could um, find myself using a dry shampoo. The next thing that I do see here is a Bobby, Bobby, is, an, is a Bobbi Brown mascara. So this is how this mascara looks. I don't think I've ever tried any Bobbi Brown mascaras. So let's see how this wand of this looks. It looks pretty basic, pretty typical, nothing too special or major, so that's how it looks. And I mean, I like these little small, like deluxe size mascaras because you can get a really good feel of what the mascara is about. Plus, it's high end and it feels like so luxurious to use, you know what I'm saying? So, um, hopefully, this will be nice and the packaging is really, really nice and sleek. So, that's the second thing that's included. Then, the third thing that's included is a Sephora Cream Lip Stain. So, this is how it arrived, and this is in the shade, I don't even know, but basically, you just pop this open, and it is a red shade. So basically, it says it's a creamy texture that transforms into a silky, comfortable, and lightweight satin lip product that lasts. So there's a whole bunch of other like shades you could choose from from Sephora's website, but this is how the shade looks. It's called Rouge, I don't know, Rouge something. So that's how the shade looks, and I actually smelt it before it smells really nice it has like a nice vanilla -y smell but that is how it swatches just like that i'm trying to be like neat here and not do swatches like you know anyways um this seems like it's really really nice it seems like it's very creamy and it does have like a satin finish i don't personally love such shades but hopefully i'll test it out and see what's going on with it and maybe i will like it okay, the next thing that i do see in here is this makeup forever step one skin equalizer um, primer so that's how the little guy looks. I really actually do love this primer. I do have like the bigger size of it that I did purchase from Sephora. And I think it's really, really nice if you do have a dry skin or it could be useful if you have oily skin as well. It's kind of like a soothing primer, so it really fills in your pores. And it kind of feels like the Benefit Professional Primer. So if you like that, you probably will like this one. So I'm actually really happy about this just because um, I really do like this. Okay, um, and I am running low on my other one, so that's a good little backup. The next thing I do have here is the perfume of the month. And this is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon perfume. So that's how it looks. I know a ton of people love the Elizabeth and James Nirvana perfumes. I don't think I own any. No, I don't own any. I've tried a few, but I'm not a huge fan of many of them. This smells pretty good. Oh my God. One second. The rose one. There's one of them that I really don't like. But this smells really, really nice. It kind of has a little bit of like that taxi cab, like New York City um, driver smell. But like an upscale one you know what i'm saying it smells pretty good i'm not like crazy over it but not bad at all last and final product that we do have in here is this urban decay all nighter setting spray and this is how the package looks this is a really really good size if you've never tried the urban decay setting sprays i do have little sizes like this already like you know um, in my counter and like in my makeup rotation and it's not my favorite there's a lot of drugstore ones that i personally love more but, I mean, it's still a good size to have and to use and to take with you to travel. But I wish they would have included like a different brand, like Makeup Forever or 
any other brand that does have setting sprays because like everyone talks about this and it's just like I want to see what other like makeup setting sprays there are you know the ones that no one talks about so I thought that would be a really cool thing to actually include in a bag but I don't know this is what is included so for this month we do have six products I'm not absolutely obsessed with this box I think it's a nice box but not anything that I'm just like wow this is my favorite box ever you know so not bad I'm not disappointed I just think it's okay but the bag totally makes it for me this month I really think it's so so cute like just as a decoration piece so nice so I hope you guys did enjoy this video uh, please let me know what your comments and thoughts are below and um, let me know what you guys got in your Sephora play boxes I know a lot of people get different ones so I'm curious to know what you guys got <laughs> in your bag um, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video bye